Hello guys, so my name is David Daniels, I'm the creator of an RPG game called Amaranth That Story, which is um, being made in Unreal 4, and right now I am working on a day and night system that I'm going to put, you know, try to get onto the Unreal 4 marketplace for you all to enjoy, and what it's called, it's not just a day and night system, it's, it's going to be called the... Uh, world atmospheric system and what it is is it's it's uh the atmosphere for a world and by atmosphere i don't mean the actual planet you know mesh of a world and you know the little atmosphere thing around it and all that this is literally you plug into large-scale environments or you can do it in a small it actually does not matter and it will produce this same effect um which can be changed according to you um Everything should be drag and drop. Um, I have it in my scene right now. Um, and I actually don't think this is... This isn't going to be the final look, actually. You know, I'm going to create my own look at tables that are going to be included with it. Um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to look awesome when it, get, when it gets done. But right now, it's, it's not looking all that bad, actually within itself um you plug in your sun your skylight your um sky fear and global and your pro post processing effect to make sure your post processing effect is set to um what was it called um you know to to affect the entire scene um actually that's gonna that's gonna bug me Unbound. You want to make sure your your post process effect is unbound. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And this is the true effect. That is the effect. Um, I'm actually working on the lookup table, so I turned it off in order to you know, do it. But this is with the current lookup table that I'm not gonna include because I'm not. I don't remember if I have permission to um, share it. Um, there's going to be some things that aren't going to come with it. I might sit back and take the extra time in order to create stuff like um, this system is going to come with weather. And when I say weather, I mean it's going to come with rain, hard rain, um, hail. It's going to come with um, snows, um, blizzards, lightning storms. And um, it's going to come with uh, early morning and late night fogs and everything so this is a full atmosphere system and it's going to be completely interchangeable and you know you know according to what you might need it for um and i will kind of show you guys a little bit of that right now um i'm gonna click on that can snow can blizzard the if you set this then uh, it's gonna um you know that this is how you basically activate you know the option of being able to snow at a certain specific specific point of the day um or not day but the year um which is winter it's already set up for winter but you can kind of change that if you and you're gonna need to know at least um you're gonna need to know a little bit of um you know how to do how to use utilize blueprints and everything in order to customize it of course but if you if you check this here then it's going to be able to snow if you check this here then it's going to be it's going to get cold enough to blizzard because without that it will not get cold enough to blizzard um these are constant conditions this is if you want to make it constantly rain um you know constantly storm constantly hail and snow these are for like if you have small scenes and that scene needs to be rainy all the time then you know there there you go this is how you do that and um another thing i'm going to note is that this is actually set up for the marketplace uh vfx weather package that just came out um um not too, a, few, uh, a few days ago this here super genius weather fx this is perfectly designed for this um so if you have this 
you're gonna be in luck because this is gonna be you could use this in order to run this um because this is what i'm using in my game um so i want to note that you could use um something else you could use the other uh weather package also um let me take a look at it real quick before i this yeah you could use this if you want to also um i personally haven't you know i'm not i'm not using this i have it but i'm not using it at all but you could use this also um lightning you know storm is going to require some modification but uh you could use that also um, I'm letting you know right off the bat, I might not include that with it, um, so you guys won't be surprised if it doesn't come with it. Um, let's see, days of the year, I'm actually not going to let that be, uh, I'm going to change that real quick off screen. I'm going to change the name also to day of the year instead of days. And I'm not tracking the year on this. You could extend it to track the year, but in my game, I'm not, I don't really care what year it is. Um, the year is super not important uh, because you could let sit idle for, for um, the entire day and, you know... Um, it's and it's gonna affect uh, what part of the year it is. In reality, for my game personally, that um, the max amount of play time for the story itself alone is the um, amount of year, um, you know, years that went by for my story and my series of games. So, um, you know, but you you could track that for your games if you want to keep track of what year it is. It's so easy. Every time this equals, you know, every time this reaches this well, actually you can't see it it's off screen every time um your day of the year equals max day of the year then you could set year plus one um you know you could do that if you want to uh let's see seasons this is um a um on a scale from this um you're gonna have to do the math yourself but um or i might try to you know figure that part out but um using um your de max day of the year which mine um, um automatically is going to be 360 uh four days you can set the very first day of your seasons um which is super important because the seasons um affect the temperature um, the max, you know, what temperature, and it also affects uh, the weather system. It all runs off of each other. Without them, you're, you know, it's not, it's not really going to work that proper. And um, so far, that's all I got. I'm still working on it right now. Right now, I'm actually coding the uh, temperature system. Um, I was trying to decide whether or not I want you guys to be able to figure out, you know, the range within uh, what temperature per season and all that um, I might just leave it open I might just leave it the way it is set it you know have it set by the system itself and uh, if you want to be able to affect that you can go in there and you know promote the um, area to uh, variables and from there you can um, you know set those to be exposed whenever it's placed in the scene and then you can set it you know and have something procedural for yourself um i'll i'll, I'll figure that out in the long run i want to make this worth the money um especially because so far i've sunk in 60 hours into this and it's definitely going to be a lot more going into it um and I'm going to constantly update it and everything. And um, I've already kind of figured out the price range I want it to be at. You know, I'm going, I want it to run for. But I also want to know whether or not you, this is something you guys going to want. Are you going to want a day and night, a full day and night system with atmosphere and everything? It handles post-processing effects and everything um, itself. So you don't have to add anything extra into your scene if you don't want to. Um, 
it, it's going to come with lookup tables um, that you can use. You can easily extend it so um, um, so that each moment, uh, you know, each part of the day, you know, whether it's a early morning, morning, noon, evening, night, okay, can each have its own processing effect. Um, you can easily extend it to that, super easily extend it to that um, if you want. And I might include that with um, some lookup tables in case you wanted to do that. Um, you know, beyond the scope of what it is now, of where it is now, I think I might extend it to create puddles on the ground eventually. Um, that's a lot of research I'm going to have to learn how to do. You could do that yourself. Um, but, uh, yeah, is this something you guys going to want? Um, if so, then I'm definitely 100% going to put it on the marketplace. If not, I might try, you know, but, um, I took a lot of inspiration from, um, Solus, the game Solus. And, um, in his, he had a full system and I'm actually proud that, um, I actually got myself to a point where I could do that. His is probably a lot more advanced than mine is now um but uh this is a functioning version of the same exact thing and i'm going to take you guys in to see it in live action and this is a nighttime i'm going to include a moon with it and a moon um is going to extend into the air or up here i'm not too sure yet so you'll be able to see a moon in the sky and everything uh, let's jump in as my character so you can see what gameplay looks like with it now um, the atmospheric fog that's here is not being controlled by it at all so I am going to extend it to control that as well you know um, I needed a, a foggy forest I actually might remove this one and use, you know, the one from the um, weather effects that I have for myself. But I'm going to, uh, in its basic form, I'm going to create it so it, uh, it produces this exact effect for you guys also. Uh, you know. But is this something you guys going to want? You know, let me know. And uh, I'll definitely make sure, I'll definitely make sure that I uh, I I add it to the marketplace quick or try to get it to the marketplace quickly. Thank you.